Ah, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome all to some more Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. In the last part, we took care of a lovely challenge. Number six, the Doctor's Revenge. And today, I'm thinking number seven, Meet Forever. This one's a rather fun one because it's pathetically easy. Because you start off with a level four Meat Boy. The fucker is bigger than you. But basically, he's gonna go nomming on a bunch of enemies to the point where I won't need to actually shoot sometimes. However, he likes to push bombs a lot, which can make things problematic for me. And like all other challenge runs, I don't have access to item rooms, so I'm pretty much reliant on this little fucker to get things done. Unless I could find something like I don't know, epic fetus in a item room. Not item room, secret room. Getting quite a bit of money though. I mean, it was just a nickel, but getting like four cents on a floor, on the first floor is quite a lot. Kinda wish I still had that bomb. I could've gotten all the bombs in that room. Let's see what else is on this floor. It's gotta be something useful around here. Damn. Well, I guess I could go fight the boss, and if they drop any health, I could go into the self-sacrifice room and see what's in there. If you're curious as to what I consider the self-sacrifice room, it's the door with spikes on its, um, frame. Oh, shit. Damn widow. It's the most annoying one, too, because they... It spawns more fucking spiders. Come on. There we go. Uh, there's no need to get the health up right now, but I'm going to that self-sacrifice room. I don't care if I'm going to be a bit short on health. I mean, anything that I can get in there is probably going to be good. Shitty. Somewhat good. Ooh, a lot of money. Oh, but just not enough. I did not intend to lose that much health. Good lord. Oh well. If I die, I die. At least I will have two hearts going down to the next floor. Otherwise, this would really suck. And they're... Shitting on me, I think. Well, this one's not good. Kill the champion! I don't need him to hit me. Sweet, now I can go to the shop. It's not like I'm using these keys for anything else. Meat boy, meat boy, meat boy! Come on, kills them all. You know what, instead of meat boy, I'm going to start calling him gluttony. Because all he does is eat. 9 volts. That'll cause future spacebar items to have a faster charge. There are two kinds of batteries in this game. 9 volt and literally the battery. The battery will cause, cause things to recharge uh, for every few steps or rooms that you complete. However, the 9 volt, it'll just uh, reduce how many rooms an uh, item needs to charge. Like, say something needs to recharge in six rooms. The 9 volt will make it so it'll recharge in five rooms instead. So it's pretty useful in the, lo in the long run. No, no, no! Damn it, meat boy. Ugh. I mean, gluttony. Damn it. It's good. I'm just gonna keep calling him meat boy, just because it's easier to remember. Ooh, could either be a good pill or a bad pill. Ooh, nice. This is an easier one. He's got a lot of health, though. Come on, meat boy. You can nom nom him. I'm not gonna hate you if you nom him. Well, he's gonna hate you, but... Yeah, he's kinda dead. Health up. Good. I wanted to make sure it was gonna be, uh... Something relatively good before I used it. Let's... Just see what's in here. 
nothing. Usually if you walk in those, they'll give you a lovely penny. Just like a pity penny. Let's see, uh... I might as well just go into the self-sacrifice room. Wow! I didn't expect to find a devil item in here. The mark. It'll give me damage, plus it'll give me, um... Another spirit heart. Don't quite care for the mark all that much, but it's useful. Ooh, one up. That's even more useful. I don't think I really need to explain what the fucking one up does. I mean, if you've never played Mario, you probably shouldn't be a gamer to begin with. And I'm locked in a chest. Good. Ooh, these creatures are problematic. Gluttony! Eat them all! Just make it quick. That was a reference to... Full Metal Alchemist. I wasn't even trying for that. I mean, the name itself is uh, a reference to it, but... The phrase I said was actually reference. And... Let me can't even get close to hurting these guys. And I kind of wanted to get in there, but the chest, the bomb spawned in there. Come on, eat them all. Damn it. Well, Meat Boy doesn't seem to really like to just go head first into the Naming. It's kind of like Dead Bird, you have to like coax him. To eat something. It's one reason why I don't quite care for this creature. Bit of a waste of the sun card, but... It'll give me full health and kill everything and show me the map. I wonder if I should even just check to see what's in the shop. Might as well. Not that useful. Shame. So let's see what's in the secret room today. More monies. Might as well see if I can get the mom's purse. Well, actually, screw mom's purse because I don't even have a single trinket, so what's the point of buying it if I don't have a single trinket, let alone two, to use? Well, I guess if I don't get any health, any damage ups or anything, it'll be a nice bonus. And we'll see how my cards get played. If I get enough money, I do, and I'll buy it. If not, I'll just save my money for the next floor. A lot of green nubs today. I'm not used to seeing so many in such a short amount of time. So let's just fight the boss because I've already explored the entire floor. Save for one room in particular, but... I don't even know where it is. Well, actually, kind of two rooms, but I don't need to... I'm not going to spoil what the second one is. Here's a regular husk. Now, if Meat Boy could nom it, that'd be really good. I'll just leave Meat Boy to nom the shit out of him. And I don't deal with the spiders. Meat Boy, just continue the nomings. Thank you. There we go. So it's in the devil room. Great. Does Krampus really not have his own little theme music? That's pretty lame. Oh well. At least the lump of coal will act sort of like a damage up. The further my shots go, the more damage it'll do. It's not going to be that great, but it'll be better. So let's see. Still the catacombs, great. Oh my. Magavice, what's it doing down here? A regular vice shouldn't even be down here. Thought those were strictly like depths in, um... 
What is it? Depths? And what's the other version? Oh, nice. Ow. Necropolis? That's it. That's the special version of the Depths. I used to think that uh, vices were only for those two floors. Oh, God. So many maggot vices. Maybe they do belong on this floor, and I haven't been noticing them. This guy's hurt like hell, too. If you manage to actually hit the maggot, it'll do a full heart of damage. Kind of a pain in the arse, but I can understand why it does so much. Regular vices alone used to do a full heart of damage if you hit their laser. But that was long since nerfed. Oh god. No. No. Come on, me boy. Nom them. Boy, I might be in here for a little for a little while, so I'll pause the video and I'll be back after Wow, I didn't expect that to pop out of there. Well, I guess there's no need to really waste uh, the time for pausing the video, because it's not going to do much. Sweet, full health. I'm not even going to bother wasting the last bit of money I have on him. Oh god, super pride! I'm going to need you to go in and nom him. A lot. Whew, there we go. I got the Joker card, too. I'm gonna save that. If you're unaware of what the Joker card does, it'll teleport me straight to the Devil Room item, regardless if this floor was gonna give me one or not. Though it's best to save it once you know you'll, um, not get one. Like, complete the boss first and see if you even have a chance at the Devil Room. Otherwise, you're just wasting it. Here we go. Though I think if you use it, you're almost guaranteed to get it once you beat the boss, but that's just a guess. If I could find the boss, that would be fucking spectacular. D stupid vice. Oh, damn it. He just bit my heart out. Mind me, boy. Thank you. Notched axe. That is fucking horrible. I don't care how much money I have, I'm never buying that. I would rather have poop instead of that. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten that item yet. Oh crap, I just spoiled an item. Steven. Wow. Basically, I get a conjoined... I can't really say conjoined twin, but I get a conjoined structure or person on the top of my head and I get more damage. Actually turns my Ted's tears red. Which kinda sucks. I like the black tears better. Before people start calling me a racist or some shit. God, the hollow again oh man, this is the best hollow too. Once this guy dies, he spawns in a bunch of bomb, a bunch of bomb flies. What is it gonna be about? Oh, it's not always bomb flies. It's just uh these flying flies. I was hoping Meat Boy would actually be capable of killing one because I have a lot of these creatures on me. Usually, you could just use the bomb flies to your advantage and just make them explode on the boss which will in turn spawn more and then it would just decimate them I have too many there we go copper box uh emperor really useful what does this do oh joker right health up mine might as well use the joker Ow, oh, it was a deal with the angel. Wasn't even a good one. At least I got scapular. Not entirely sure what that does, however. What does that do? Oh well, no matter. 
Shut up! I know what you are! Screw the umbilical cord. That's useless for me. And probably shit in a box, as always. Ew. It's the swarm! Lewis, it's the swarm! Man, they are coughing a lot. Should probably get some cough medicine. Die, 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 die. This is starting to lag me a little bit, because every time you damage these creatures, they shoot off more flies. Doesn't even matter if you kill them, they're gonna spawn their flies. Empress, useless. Emperor, useful. Mine! I'm out. Fuck you. Oh, the wretched shit. Gonna need the Meat Boy to nom it again. Because this guy can be very problematic. Wow. All it did was shit in a corner. <laughs> Literally. Useless. Friends till the end again. Damn. Nice. Ooh, yes. Since I have the 9 volt, I think this will even be better. The nail. This is actually a devil room item I unlocked quite a bit ago, but just couldn't actually get it. Basically, what the nail does is... I can use it. Nah, I can't use it here. What it'll do is, it'll turn me into a demon, allow me to break blocks in that floor, in that floor, in the room, as well as height, not height, numb, increase the amount of damage I do. So it's a really good, good item, and in addition to all that special crap, it'll give me, um, a spear of heart every time I use it. It's just such a good item. In fact, here we go. The whole breaking block, breaking rocks thing is actually pretty useful if you want to use it as a last resort instead of your bombs to break like a tinted rock or something. And usually this takes uh, six rooms to charge, I think. But luckily for me, it's only going to take four rooms. Nice. So, might as well check the secret room. Me boy, me boy! Go this way. Eh, shitty amount of money. Lame. Oh, this is Acropolis, so if I bomb my way into the boss, I can't check the rest of the floor. Right. Stupid Zelda spikes. <laughs> <clears throat> Something's in my throat. It's trying to make me cough. Yeah, that would have been talking for too long. I kind of want that. Because I do plan to go to the shop, so I might as well have enough money. What happens if you get the battery and the 9 volt at the same time? Hmm. So I traded a key for two bombs. That's not too bad. It's not the worst deal in the world. Damn spiders. <laughs> that was just stupid. Let's see. Bum friend. Why not? All he's gonna do is steal all the money I pick up anyway, so... Just go in there, snatch all the money. Give me nothing. Greedy son of a bitch. So, let's see what's in the arcade, and then I'm out. Be going to the boss. Then I might be done with Binding of Isaac for today. Use you. Use you. There we go. Useless. Blow you up, blow you up. No! No! I didn't want to blow that up. Oh, hey! Bumfriend actually gave me something. Oh, cool, he gave me death. It's funny, but that's actually pretty good. It's a good card. 
fucking using a mom. Go down there and snatch that money. Thank you. Uh, I was thinking about going through the rest of the floor and letting bum friend pick up more money, but what's the point? This is a good room for this. Actually, you know what? It's a good room for this. I should have thought of that first. Oh, I do have plenty of rooms on the floor. I might as well recharge my uh, nail. Damn it. Taking stupid damage all of a sudden. All I'm gonna need is one more room after this, and then I'll be fine. Big guy is being pretty good to me this this uh run. What's this? Friends till the end. Might as well save it. There's no need to use it right now. <gasps> Oi. That must be the donuts I ate for breakfast, trying to come back up a little bit. Ugh. Not come back up in like a bad fashion, just like trying to burp. But I can't burp on camera, it's, it's unprofessional. Then again, when was the last time I was ever professional in these videos? Wow. What an amazing friends till the end, all they did was try to shoot the uh, turret. I keep forgetting that this is a challenge run. Because Meat Boy is not doing shit. Last time I did this challenge run, because, shocker, I've actually played through this game. I've done like 70 hours or so by myself. But last time I did this, he actually was useful. Shooting all. actually nomming on enemies. Well, now all he does is stand around with his creepy ass grin. Ow, what the fuck hit me? Oh hey, Meat Boy actually ate something! Maybe I shouldn't criticize him, I mean, maybe he's just full. Maybe he's not hungry. Oh! This is taking quite a while. It's sad that this is still a bit faster than the run I had yesterday. Well, it's not really yesterday for me. I mean, yesterday for you guys is like a few minutes for me. Oh, no, she's poisoned again. You think poisoning her foot would just be enough to kill her? I mean, she already looks like she's a diabetic or something. Look how fat she is. Come on. Why did I take damage? I don't understand why I randomly take damage in that kind of fight. So, off to the room one. Oh yeah, I have the map and the compass, too. I completely forgot I got both. Anything? You cheap bastard. My fire rate is horrible. Good lord. So what's in the item room today? I hope something really good. Nope, super greed. Useless. Useless. I keep confusing uh, Meat Boy for myself. I thought I was going up there for a moment. Not sure why, I mean, we don't even look alike. What's with the increase of hollows lately? This isn't bleach. This game isn't meant to be just a bunch of hollows. I'd be surprised if anyone even understands what bleach is. And no, not the fucking cleaning formula or whatever you'd call it. Isaac versus Conquest. My my, I haven't seen you in a while. This might be enough for the nail. I hate this guy quite a bit. It's just gonna take forever to die. He really likes to shoot those fucking homing bombs, though. It's not easy to dodge, too. 
It's hard to dodge something that knows where you're going to be. Oh god. Oh man, that's a... It's a very scary attack. I don't think I've ever been hit by that in the 70 hours I've played of this game. Stop charging, Conquest. And now you're dead. Nope. So I could get... White Pony. Basically, I get to fly. And when I charge, I'm invulnerable. I charge enemies and... I cause the white beams from heaven to fall. But... Useless for me. Why am I still flying? That... That was weird. I was still flying. And the boss is all the way up here. Oh shit, Lust. I hate Lust. I don't like Lust. Burn it! Burn it with fire! Call Colonel Mustang! Have him kill this whore! Wow, she took the long way. Alpha! Lovely! Let's see what's in here. Probably another greed. More monies. Why did I pick it all up? That was just stupid. Ooh, this is a bad room. Very bad. I've gotta kill the hollows first, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to tell how much health Gertie Jr. has. Damn it. Oh well, I shouldn't be too complainy. I do have the one up. I fucking hate this. Screw this. Literally, just screw it. I'm getting out. And Meat Boy can just nom him. Ace of Spades. Useless. I'd rather have Pinky Eye. Gotta kill the Blazer first. Then I can deal with the Diglets. Wonder what these creatures are really called. Because they just look like a bunch of diglets to me. I mean, it's not, even, it's not even so much a reference to Northern Lion. I mean, they really do look like diglets. Let alone, I doubt people will even understand what the hell a diglet is. I mean, there's so many Pokemon lately, people don't even know how many generations are in it. It's fucking too many. Pokemon's pretty much like an anime version of Final Fantasy. It just won't die. There we go. So now I have the sun card and my nail. Use this first. Do a bit of damage. Horrible amount of damage, actually. I thought the sun was the card that uh, damaged mom and mom's heart quite a bit. At least Meat Boy's gonna help with the crowd control here. And maybe Nam on my mother's heart. You think just, like, biting into the heart once would be enough to just make it stop beating? Or shooting these incredibly lethal tears would be enough? I mean, it's a heart! It's really fragile! Now, if it would kindly die so I can leave... Ah, <sighs> wasting my time. That was weird. Looked like it did poison damage, but it wasn't a poison boom. Okay, mom's heart. This is going on much longer than it needs to. I wonder if mom can actually damage herself by shooting off these bombs. Probably not. Oh, she's dead. Super fan. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot about that one. What's in there? Oh, the wafer. I like that item. Really useful. No, go back. Stats. No. Wait, no, that, that was what I wanted. 
Wafer, yeah, that's what I found. And super fan. So is that I do believe I'll bid you all adieu. That's what I'll do next time. Maybe Maybe nine deaths. I mean I've already done quite a few nine live uh, runs. Every single one of them has actually been completed. Now that I think about it. Either way, was that I will bid you all adieu. Have a nice day.